Hello, my soccer universe, and welcome to part three of my Europa League jersey review for the 2019-20 season. Um, yeah, I cannot do this with the fingers very long because we have 12 groups. So let's see how this will go. Um, today we're looking at Group C, uh, kind of an international group um, with some surprising seedings. I can go pot one, two, three, four in that order. Uh, from the draw. I'm wearing Switzerland because the pot one team is Basel from Switzerland. And the Basel home jersey is one that I saw actually in person because last played in Champions League qualification, second round, or third round. We played against Basel, beat them. Still cannot believe that, but yeah. Basel decided this year to ditch their famous half and half look as we see from the crest. And for those of you who don't know, it is widely rumored that Basel's colors were the inspiration for Barcelona's colors. I mean, the ball and the crest is the same, the colors are the same. And Hans Gampa, uh, before he was Juan Gampa, was uh, at Basel. I think he even founded or was among the founding members of Basel and then he uh, founded Barcelona. So there's a good they are a good and direct lineage between the two clubs. I have to say the red look, I know Basel has been wearing red before, is not a bad one with the um, blue sleeves, but I do like the half and half Basel look a little bit better. So that's the one thing that uh, ticks me off a little bit. Um, also the sponsor in white, you know, it's the same in Barcelona. Everything else on there is yellow. Why, why do you put a white sponsor on there? But okay, uh, I'm going to look past that. The jersey, as I said, is by itself not that bad. It's kind of an Arsenal look with blue sleeves. Uh, but it's just not my favorite. I'm going to give this uh, six stars. I find actually the away jersey a lot more interesting. Uh, the white with the pinstripes with black accents and if you look at the sleeve cuffs they actually have the club colors um i was discussing with myself should I, should the club colors also be on the collar but actually it makes them stand out a little bit better if they are on the sleeve cuffs so i actually do like it i also like that they only lose use the fcb from the crest uh, and not the entire crest that actually is a smart way of Keeping it monochromatic, don't get it too color colorful, but still keep it real. Uh, I really like the touch. This is a really good looking jersey. Is it my favorite Basel jersey? Will, is this a, a favorite Basel look? Maybe not because blue and red are the colors. So, I mean, if this would have been done in blue or red, it would also be nice. I do like the idea of the black and white. It just is not quite Basel to me. But I think this is better than home jersey. I give this seven. And the third jersey just inverts the black and the white. Really good looking as well. Um, I also think it's better than the home jersey, despite not having the traditional colors on there. Although, as with the home jersey, uh, as with the away jersey, they are there and so you're kind of reminded by it. So it doesn't bother me that much. I also give this seven stars. Basel, I think, looking interesting slash good. Interesting slash good is something that we definitely have to say about Krasnodar. Um, the Krasnodar home jersey is one of the craziest Puma creations. I think they already had last year a pretty interesting one, but this one beats it all. I mean, Krasnodar with the black and then with green, but this geometrical pattern on there, I mean, as a statistician, this immediately intrigues me. Uh, I find it a really interesting look. Uh, and I think Krasnodar can get away with it. Also, you have the crest monochromatic on there, which I think in this case works well. I think the uh, crest below is the, those uh, lozenges or whatever should be in black and green, maybe. Whatever. It actually it forms a nice overall picture. I actually, the, the first time I saw this, even with the fade in there, it is out there, but I actually really like it. In the Europa League, they have um, uh, one XBET sponsor on there. The back, unfortunately, is only in black, uh, which is maybe the only downside. But I think overall, it all makes a whole lot of sense. I'm going to give this eight star. Not going to dish out the same great. Ah, and here we see the full color crest. Yeah, I was a little bit wrong. Um, for the away jersey, because it's just a Puma template. We saw this already with Egypt and uh, to lesser degree with Crystal Palace. Yes, swirly pattern, all that kind of stuff in there. It is interesting to look at, but <clears throat> yeah, 
for one season we can get away we will we will see a few more of these i think in this review not too crazy it nothing wrong with it it's white it even the crest doesn't look lost on it uh they have again the sponsor that's in blue that actually uh, puts it down a notch for me uh if the sponsor was in black i think i could live with it better uh with the blue sponsor i'm gonna give this five stars then a team that we already looked at who interestingly issued a special Europa League home jersey um we have here the Getafe home jersey that we looked at in the La Liga jersey review which I gave five stars but the problem with that one are the sleeves so for the Europa League they issued um kind of a unicolor jersey also with a different sponsor than I have here Libertex maybe they have this sponsor now in La Liga as well I honestly haven't watched Getafe too much um I actually like that the blue body it remains but then the sleeves are basically just um this headed uh blue pattern looks actually quite nice the sponsor though ruins it the sponsor if that could be more monochromatic yeah uh the orange bothers me and for that reason without the sponsor I think we can talk seven uh maybe eight the sponsor drops it down for me to six uh, the away jersey from the league I also don't think will be worn in the Europa Leagues for the simple reason they have another jersey that's uh, dedicated and again the sleeve patterns will cause some problems UEFA doesn't like that I gave this one six stars uh, you can look it up in the La Liga jersey review if you want to know more about that one and then they have a third jersey again uh, there is in the league they use this one with the patterns but for the Europa League Again, different sponsor, they just put plain sleeves, which I think is all right uh, to do it. And I, I have seen Getafe wearing this one in Europe a lot. Um, I have to say, again, the sponsor kind of ruins it. I, other than that, I like it. Even with the neon and the blue, uh, it still screams Getafe to me. I like this jersey uh, just enough, but it's not more than your average jersey, to be honest. Five stars. Uh, and then we have Traps on Sport, who have a very traditional looking home jersey by my favorite new brand, Macron, where I still don't have a jersey, but three are, as I record this, on the way uh, from Macron, so I'm very excited about that one. Classic half and half look. I like it. I even like this uh, very slim pinstriping, the color. Um, the colors is like with West Ham and with Aston Villa, you either like them or hate them. I'm gonna go past it because those are the club's colors. And I actually have a, a liking for uh, this look. This is a really strong jersey in the Europa League. It's worn with a sponsor uh, in white, which makes sense. I'm gonna give this nine stars. A really nice looking jersey. The away jersey, to me, honestly, I know it has been worn in the Europa League. It doesn't make total sense given the home jersey. Yes, the home jersey is worn with blue pants and this maroon, all maroon look that we already saw in the Europa League away to get tougher does make some sense, but you know, Recall that the home jersey is a half and half look also with maroon, so the contrast is a little bit off uh, there. Anyway, as an away jersey, I think it works also quite well. Uh, oh, as a jersey, by the way, not as an away jersey. As a jersey, it works actually quite well. I do like the overall idea of it. It's another strong offering. Uh, even the, the simple sponsor, uh, I'm gonna give this seven stars. The one, the, the third jersey is maybe the one where we get the most discussions about. Um, I saw a really nice video spot on that one, which I actually liked a lot. But I have to say, this jersey leaves me a little bit cold. I mean, this grayish color, if as you know, brown and gray are not my colors. And I think by itself, I would not mind. I just would have liked to see if with those two jerseys, a slightly lighter jersey for Trabzonspor. And then in addition, I don't know what this pattern is. I think given this video, there is some traditional um, knitting pattern in there, which would be a nice touch. And I uh, hope it is. It just doesn't quite work for me. If you're a Trapson Sport fan or if you know more info, drop it, uh, give, give, give it down because I might actually regrade this one uh, at a later point if I know this. But uh, just looking at it that way, <clears throat> it just doesn't quite connect with me. And for that reason, it is different, but it's not good enough for me. 
I'm gonna give it four stars. Mainly the gray puts me off. So we have part three in the books. Let me know which jerseys you like. Whether you agree with my assessment, uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these or anything else I'm doing on my channel. There's lots of content out there. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.